Then God said to Jacob, Go up to Bethel and settle there, and build an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his household and to all who were with him, Get rid of your foreign gods you have with you, and purify yourself and change your clothes. Then come, let us go up to Bethel, where I will build an altar to God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and who has been with me wherever I have gone. So they gave Jacob all the foreign gods they had, and the rings in their ears, and Jacob buried them under the oak at Shechem. Then they set out, and then the terror of God fell upon the towns all around them, so that no one pursued them. Jacob and all the people with him came to Luz, that is Bethel, in the land of Canaan. There he built an altar, and he called the place El Bethel, because it was there that God revealed himself to him when he was fleeing from his brother. Now Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died and was buried under the oak below Bethel, so it was named Alon Bakuth. After Jacob returned from Padan Aram, God appeared to him again and blessed him. God said to him, Your name is Jacob, but you will no longer be called Jacob. Your name will be called Israel. So he named him Israel. And God said to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and increase in number. A nation and a community of nations will come to you, and kings will come from your body. The land I gave Abraham and Isaac I also give to you, and I will give this land to your descendants after you. Then God went up from him at the place where he had talked with him. Jacob set up a stone pillar at that place where God had talked with him, and he poured out a drink offering on it. He also poured oil on it. Jacob called the place where God had talked to him, Bethel. Then they moved from Bethel. While they were still some distance from Ephrath, Rachel began to give birth and had great difficulty. And as she was having great difficulty in childbirth, the midwife said to her, Don't be afraid, for you have another son. As she breathed her last breath, for she was dying, she named her son Ben-Onai. But his father named him Benjamin. So Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephrath, that is, Bethlehem. Over her tomb, Jacob set up a pillar, and to this day the pillar marks Rachel's tomb.